Four marks to the audible narrator who was excellent and gave the book a sense of excitement it otherwise wouldn't have had. <laughs> Zero stars actually. Absolute trash. <laughs> Seriously, everything about this book is the worst. The actual worst. I'm serious. This is the embodiment of the ages old YA full of cliches and uninteresting everything. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Today I am filming a video that I've been wanting to film for a very long time and today I am going to be reacting to one star reviews of my favourite books. <laughs> now I did this a while ago on my Instagram and it went down really really well. People seemed to love it but they were very quick fire reactions so I thought it would be a lot of fun to do a longer video and actually do some longer reactions. It's crazy because I've been thinking about doing this video for a long time and I feel like the trend has sort of come back again. Um, I saw books with Leo do this literally the other day and I was like yes now is the time to sit down and do this video. So I'm very excited but I'm also very very nervous. <laughs> I absolutely love having discussions with people like chatting about why someone didn't necessarily like a book that I loved. That is one of my favourite things about the book community that we're not all going to agree, we're not all going to love the same books. But I know for a fact that a lot of Goodreads reviews can be brutal <laughs> as I learnt the first time around that I did this. So I'm nervous but I'm excited and hopefully we're all going to have a little bit of a laugh together. Obviously I completely understand that not everyone is going to love the same books that I love and not everyone has the same reading taste but <laughs> yeah let's have a look at what people say about some of my favourite books. <laughs> so I haven't actually thought about what books I want to search but I think a good one to start with might be Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I just feel like the whimsical writing style of that book definitely is going to be something that a lot of people probably don't enjoy. <laughs> so I rated this book five stars, if you didn't already know that. This book has had 333,000 ratings and nearly 12,000 of them are one star. Here we go. I don't know about this book. Usually I don't leave in the middle of a book, but this book just bored me. I found no interest to continue it. Okay, I kind of, I think that is actually fair enough. So the book actually isn't that plot driven, especially in the first half. It is quite poetic writing and it just sets the scene. So I think that is kind of fair, but then I don't know. I, I want to know if you DNF a book, do you rate it? Because I personally don't, because I don't think it's fair. Like if I didn't make it to the end of the book, then is it fair that I rate it a one star? I don't know. But then if I really, really hated that 100 pages that I read, I don't know. Here's a list of everything I hated about the book. <laughs> One, Karoo is annoying. I can't relate to her. She is not badass and she is boring. Blue haired girl with tatties. Oh, how lame and completely uninteresting. <laughs> that is savage. I don't like the names of the characters. They gave me a huge headache. Three, the dialogue was horrible, nonsense, random, and also gave me a headache. Yeah, that one thing about Lainey Taylor's writing is it is incredibly lyrical. So if that's not something you enjoy, then you definitely are not going to enjoy these books. I could not finish the book and I don't think I'll be reading any more of this series. It's just an epic failure. That is harsh, you know? I think that's harsh. So this person's review is reviewing the book covers. Obviously there's brand new ones now and I think they are so much better than any of the original ones um but this person put not at all what I was expecting after after the numerous five star reviews from the most discerning critics the US cover plus the five star ratings and general popularity spurred me on to grab this from the library I'm very pleased I didn't pay for it <laughs> the UK cover advertised it perfectly i.e not worth your time and cold hard cash especially at hardcover price those loving reviews whispered in my ear to keep going, to not put it down, because there's precious awesomeness to be had until they were over, ridden by the knowledge that if my hands lowered at any moment, I'd never raise them with this book open again. <laughs> oh my god. So if you didn't know, The Daughter of Psycho Bone is like in sections and I'll insert an image here. And it says, once upon a time, an angel and a devil fell in love. It did not end well. And she just put unpopular opinion alert don't say I didn't warn you with that photo 
Okay, I'm gonna move on because it's actually hurting my heart a little bit because I genuinely love this book so, so much. But I think the main issue people have with it is like how lyrical the writing is. What book should I look at now? I'm trying to think of books that like will have controversial opinions. Okay, so I'm gonna do Caraval. I did a few of these in my really short video on my Instagram, but I didn't actually like read the reviews fully. Caraval is very, very similar to Daughter of Smoke and Bone in the sense that it is very magical, very whimsical, very lyrical. There's a lot of metaphors, there's a lot of similes. So I feel like it's gonna attract the same one star audience. The average Goodreads rating for this book is 3.96, but my friend review average is 4.14. And in general, the, my friends on Goodreads really, really love this book. Caraval has 176,000 ratings and 4,900 of those ratings are one star. So the first one that's come up is this very long, very detailed review as to why someone didn't like it. We have fully humongous paragraphs about the setting, the characters, the plot, the language. <laughs> And a hell of a lot of spoilers. I mean, someone has gone to a lot of effort to tell you all of the reasons why they hate this book, so... <laughs> I am genuinely trying to find out who started advertising this book and why. It's been blowing up Goodreads for quite a while now. People with ARCs were selling it on eBay at ridiculously high prices. That's how it caught my attention in the first place. Was that a publicity stunt? <laughs> If it was, it's not going to help much because the book is shitty. There is nothing new or exhilarating here. If anything, its ideas are stolen from a bunch of other books, The Lunar Chronicles, Hunger Games, Night Circus and such. There was no originality here whatsoever. On top of that, it's boring AF. <laughs> With a gif of Wednesday Adams <laughs> saying I hate everything. <laughs> <laughs> this person has, quote, remember it's only a game, unquote, from the book and then put, well, that's got to be one of the most boring games. <laughs> I cannot even express to you guys how bland this book was. Like tofu, like unseasoned chicken breast, like brown bread with no peanut butter. <laughs> Just miss me with that shit. Miss me with it all the way. <laughs> Back in the day when I was a snarky teenager, I used to enjoy writing reviews that were really, really venomous. Kids can be cruel and while it's... <laughs> And while I stand by my right to love or hate any media and to express my opinion, it can go a little far. Then again, hyperbole is hyperbole. <laughs> I'm still not one to hold back, but one woman's trash is another's treasure. <laughs> I mean, it's true though, like, you hated it. I did love it. It was a five star book for me. <laughs> the one thing I will say about Caraval is um, I read it last year just as i was like getting back into fantasy and i think it is a perfect book for that like if you've never read fantasy before or if you're getting back into it and i do really want to reread it and see how it stands up now i've read a lot more fantasy and a lot of five star fantasy as well because it holds such a special place in my heart you know like i loved it so much <laughs> and i mean i yeah it's just crazy to me how much hate this book gets this is the one that i saw before <laughs> It says, every time I see this book on my feed, I want to rate it lower. <laughs> a list of things I don't care about. Long, slim, pale fingers, high cheekbones, cherub's face, devil's smile, honey-coloured curls, the sun, moon, stars, and their golden, silvery, bright light, long lashes, insta-love. Now you'll be very glad to know that all of the above appear in this book, not once, not twice, constantly. I actually don't have a lot to say about Caraval. It is just bland as boring and filled with YA cliches as you can possibly imagine. But there are some things I'd like to point out. First, why does 99% of everyone in the whole wide world think the writing in this book is the best thing since sliced bread? <laughs> it is not. It's boring, it's bad, it's annoying, it's unimaginative. <laughs> this person is going in. Stephanie Garber's metaphors, are her comparisons, are just so incredibly ridiculous, so futile, I can't remember the last time I cringed so much. Seriously, they are the worst. Why do YA authors, not only YA, but mostly, keep doing this? Why can't they actually make an effort to create an engrossing, magical, if it's the case, atmospheric world and plot? Why come heavy with the weird prose trying to force metaphors that just don't make sense? <laughs> and then there's like five more paragraphs. <laughs> Fifth, I can't even begin to imagine how ugly those dresses must look. 
Seriously, everything about this book is the worst, the actual worst, I'm serious. This is the embodiment of the ages old YA full of cliches and uninteresting everything. I have genuinely never read a book that I hated that much. That is a lot of hatred from one person. Okay. I low-key want to look at Beyond the Black Door, but then I actually think that one is going to rip my heart in two. <sighs> Let's do it. This book is, like, a recent fave, but I think it will stand up to be, like, a forever fave. You know, you just get that feeling. I just loved it so much. There's not that many ratings for Beyond the Black Door, only 1,125 ratings in total. And there's only 38 one-star ratings, so... That makes me happy. Um, I'm not sure there's gonna be a whole load to say about this. Okay, so the first review I've read is quite fair. She's just saying like, I think other people will enjoy this book, but I didn't. And I couldn't get down the world and whatever magic system it had, the plot felt too meandering and I wasn't into the characters. While the ace rep was good, it felt a bit angsty for my liking and it's very much a coming of age story. Not a bad thing in the least, it's just that I don't gravitate towards those stories. I think that many people will enjoy this book, but I wasn't one of them. What a diplomatic person. That's a really lovely one star review, isn't it? <laughs> okay, these re reviews are a bit boring, so. I'm gonna look at one star reviews for the house in the Cerulean Sea. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be interesting because I, well, most of my friends that have read this book literally adored it. Like the, there is a massive hype surrounding this book, but I haven't actually met anyone that didn't enjoy it. So I'm going to be intrigued to see like the ratio of one star reviews. So the average rating on Goodreads is 4.53 stars. That is really good. Oh my god. So there's only 425 one star reviews and if you like click on Goodreads it's it just says 0%. Like it is so few that it averages out at 0%. That's crazy. Let's see what people have said. Okay I feel totally Grinchish but I did not like this. This was not for me. <laughs> Here are some issues I have with the book, which many readers will not. <laughs> the story is a bit like a fairy tale. I hate fairy tales. Or a fable. I hate fables. The story is all about the kids. I hate kids. <laughs> Having said all those lengthy disclaimers, here is my review. God, it was awful. <laughs> the book reads like a juvenile. At one point I popped onto Amazon to see whether the book was marketed as for kids or young adults, and it is not. The narration talks down to the readers. The narration talks a lot generally. It is wordy and self-indulgent. Someone has been reading too much Douglas Adams recently and possibly Winnie the Pooh. It's pretty clear in the early chapters how the book is going to unfurl. Okay, that is, that is a fair comment on the book, I have to say. Like, I wasn't expecting it to read as young as it did, but when I read it, it's kind of what I needed and I loved it so, so much. But like, if you're going into something and it's advertised as like adult fabulism, then it does read very, very young. And I can totally understand that. And yeah, also <laughs> it's pretty cliche. Like you can read the first couple of chapters and like work out what the plot is gonna do. That being said, it's the most wholesome book in the whole fucking world. I, don't, I didn't care that, that it was cliche. I just didn't care. Are you ready for this? If you like Cerulean Sea, then maybe cover your ears. What a dreadful waste of time and paper. The premise was okay, but the characters were one dimensional at best. And the orphans came off as a set of fairy tale cliches who were apparently meant to be charming by virtue of sheer obnoxiousness. That was a long sentence. In fact, this whole book read like it wanted to be a comic book. Simplistic, preachy, predictable, cartoonish, and unclever no matter how you slice it. That is harsh. I love TJ Klune, but this book was a huge disappointment. It's predictable, patronising, preachy and trite. I hope his next one is better. <laughs> Full marks to the audible narrator who was excellent and gave the book a sense of excitement it otherwise wouldn't have had. <laughs> I love that. That is so funny. The crap floating in the Cerulean Sea. It, it just really wasn't for me. Honestly, I could have just watched the Umbrella Academy. <laughs> It's not the same at all, but like, okay. <laughs> a lot of these people are just saying that it's like over explained and it reads really young, which I guess is a fair comment. But if you're gonna read Cerulean Sea, you have to go into it knowing that it is just gonna be like complete and utter escapism. Okay, I've been filming for ages and I need to make a lasagna, so. 
Let me just pick one more. I'm going to make it a good one. What should we do? Shall we do a good girl's guide to murder? I feel like that's a really popular book, isn't it? So, like, this is another one where the majority of my bookish pals absolutely love it. Let's see where the negative Nancys are at. Whoa, 65,000 ratings and 300 of them are one star. Once again, 0%. <laughs> After reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, I have come to the conclusion that I do not enjoy teen armchair detective stories. They're just so damn implausible. And that was the main problem with the book. That and the fact that Pip was unethical and was prone to making the stupidest choices ever. <laughs> Terrible writing, painful, big fat DNF at about 70 pages. <laughs> Thought I'd like this. Oh well. <laughs> From the moment she said holy pepperoni, I realised I am too old to be reading this book. <laughs> Seriously? Wow, I have no idea how this has such high ratings. I love a good YA thriller and this was not one of those. At all. Wholly unbelievable, very bad book. <laughs> this is a series? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you don't have to read them, Susan. There's a lot of Karens in these one stars. How and why are there so many five star reviews and from adults? I'm starting to feel like this is some sort of conspiracy. The fact that any grown adult could think this utter rip of trash is worthy or even a two or three star must, must be delusional. <laughs> Zero stars actually, absolute trash. <laughs> well, this was dribble. The premise of the book sounded promising. I found both the writing and the characters bland. I had truly hoped to enjoy this, but I just couldn't, it did not live up to the hype for me. I do think a massive problem when a book is so hyped and then people read it because it's a hype even though it's not something that they would ever read like the woman that was talking about how much she hated YA writing and how any adult could possibly enjoy it like she just clearly doesn't enjoy YA books so why are you reading more YA books and then leaving one star reviews like it's very strange to me go and read some adult fiction if that's what you enjoy do you know what I mean? I don't mind one star reviews when they're intellectual and they're like obviously justified do you know what I mean like if you didn't enjoy the book and you have a valid reason that's fine but she's literally saying she didn't enjoy the book because she hates YA don't read it then that's interesting there's a lot of reviews here saying that they hated it but I think it was because of the audio version I have no idea what the audiobook for this is like but that is very interesting but okay, well, that was a waste of my time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave it there before I get too vexed with people. <laughs> As I said at the very beginning of this video, like, I have no problem with anyone who doesn't enjoy the books that I enjoy. I actually think it's super interesting and I love having those discussions. But yeah, I find the counter opinions super, super interesting and I probably have counter opinions for other people's favourite books and that is what makes the reading community so amazing because I feel like we we are able to accept other people's opinions and have intellectual discussions about it do let me know if you would want to see another one of these videos um I've really really enjoyed filming it but I'm not going to make a part two if people don't care so <laughs> we'll leave it hanging in the balance but there's a lot of books that I would love to react to one star reviews of including like Akatar quite possibly if you have made it to the end of this video leave a star emoji to let me know that you've made it all the way if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up it really does help me out and i would love it if you could consider subscribing to my channel i do post regular bookish content thank you so so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye